it is a way to be able to curb any sort of unnecessary research that has to be, or that somebody, some scientist wants to do on Rinderpest virus. And since we've eradicated it from the face of the earth, we want to be sure that uh, there's nobody behind the scenes working on Rinderpest virus where it may escape and actually wreak havoc as it did for several centuries around the world. I think the risk would be uh, that the virus may uh, escape or leak out. Uh, we want to be sure that it's in proper containment or, um, better yet, even destroyed. We know of some th a little over 30 laboratories around the world that still have Rinderpest virus, and we would like to limit that, very much like what was done on the human medical side with smallpox virus, which is only kept on t in two uh, laboratories in the world. We would like to follow that model. We hope that there is sufficient uh, professional integrity and that the directors of the laboratories, uh, the chief veterinary officers, and society at large would rec recognize that a moratorium at this moment is needed until we are able to keep uh, the virus in safer hands, safer laboratories, and with a research that has been um, perhaps seen as important to the community of scientists. I think it's very important to have a system where you are able to monitor and survey for diseases such as Rinderpest. Although we are confident that it's been eradicated from the world, it's always important to have a system in place that is looking out for uh, disease events. And some of these disease events can look like Rinderpest. We have to be sure that they are not.